Hey my sassy little pixies, it's Sassy Orange Pixie 2002 here and for today's video I'm going to be doing a Shen haul slash review. So this is the second time that I'm filming this video because I originally did it back in August when they arrived and I only checked the footage recently and found out that most of the clothing when I was holding it up and talking to it were out of frame. So I've decided to redo it but that does mean that the items that needed to be sent back are now not going to be in this video but I did film a TikTok which stars me trying all of the clothes on so you'll be able to see the outfits that I sent back as I'll insert a clip of each outfit when I'm explaining that one but I won't do the negatives right at the beginning anyway. This video is not sponsored, it is completely my own opinion. I wanted to try Shen out for myself because I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm not sponsored by them because there's not enough people that follow me for them to be interested in sponsoring me at the current time of recording this. So all opinions are my own, you know, there's no need for me to be biased towards Shen, so this is completely my experience with Shen or Sheen. Some people pronounce it Sheen, others pronounce it Shen. I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to be pronounced but I'm going to use Shen. If you know for sure what it's supposed to sound like then please let me know. I ordered 11 items because these were going to be my birthday presents and one was going to be my birthday outfit. When we ordered, I had all 11 items in my basket, all the correct sizes, and we pressed pay. And then on the order confirmation, um, when we went through to order confirmation and everything, we noticed that we had one item missing from the order confirmation, shipping, everything, and then also from the original receipt. But when our order arrived, all 11 outfits arrived so we don't know if that means we paid for it and they've just omitted it from the slips or if we didn't end up paying for it but because it was in our basket they put it through anyway not entirely sure on that one i wouldn't say that's a positive or a negative just a bit of a mix up i wasn't really fussed with it because it's not like we got sent a completely random item everything that came was exactly as we ordered which is a good thing we also didn't pay for the delivery it was free delivery and it came within a week of ordering around a week under two weeks definitely under two weeks but around the one week mark which is not bad for free delivery so oh, we was very pleased with that when you order them they come in these plastic bags which um, I think you, you can reuse them as dust bags. Um, I personally won't, I don't really like them, but um, there is that. Um, some of them come with tissue paper in it and others didn't, so I don't know about that. But um, they were, obviously I've taken them out since um, because they were birthday presents, so um, they were wrapped up but I managed to keep the dust bags just to show but um they were folded neatly when they arrived and they didn't really get jostled around too much during delivery I'm going to assume because basically all of them came perfectly folded it was just some were missing tissue paper and others had quite a big amount of tissue paper so a bit inconsistent but i'm not really fussed about details like that again neither a positive nor a negative at least for me um so yeah the first outfit that i'm going to show is my birthday outfit all of the outfits that i show now there's seven of them are my positives that i kept because they're still here <laughs> um yeah, so this one is obviously out of the dust bag and I didn't have it, but this one didn't come with tissue paper um, because I wore it for my birthday. 
as you can see it is just such a lovely classy dress i was so impressed with this so was my whole family they were so they just absolutely loved it um it was really good in all the photos it was flattering on me i would really recommend it it is i'm holding it so you can see the zip don't know why i'm doing that so it is a black bodycon dress with then the mesh overlay of the embroidered flowers they are not patch patches at all they're sewn in which is so beautiful it just looks Oh, it's, it's just such a lovely looking dress. I honestly was so impressed with it. It fit amazingly. I was really impressed. It made my stomach look thinner, flatter. Um, it, it just looked really nice. It wasn't super short. It came to just a little bit above my knee. Um, so it wasn't a really long dress, but it wasn't something really short. So I wasn't really worried too much about it rising up. Um, the mesh is not really itchy at all. It's not really noticeable. It is a zip at the back, which goes down to about halfway. Um, the zip doesn't get caught. It's perfectly fine. It's really easy to zip up, in my opinion. Normally I find with dresses it's hard to reach behind and zip it up but i just didn't have any problems with this one so yeah this honestly is a 10 out of 10 for me i have no bad no bad feedback about it at all this really impressed me and when i was originally trying these on when they arrived for the first time i tried three of the four things that i was going to send back so i was nearly in tears at that point i was like shen's a complete scam we've wasted our money uh i am not gonna have an outfit for my birthday everything is ruined i was really really upset and then my mum was like calm down we have we haven't tried the rest of them you don't know until you try it and my sister's ordered from Shen before, she was the main reason why I decided to order from Shen and give it a go because she has had so many cute outfits from Shen arrive, fit perfectly and look lovely. So I was like, I'm sure I can find good outfits on there too. And so this was the, the next outfit I tried and obviously it was just a winner and it renewed my faith in Shen. So they can, definitely can do really good clothing items and this was they are all really reasonably priced some are a lot cheaper than um you would find at find at higher street stores but with that does of course mean that some of them like the stuff that i've sent back are of a cheaper quality it it's quite hit or miss with shen is one thing i'm going to say um so just to walk through how I chose the items I ordered, we looked through, I just clicked on what I liked, but I always made sure to check for reviews. I read the reviews, but mostly I looked for photographic reviews. So when people have put their customer photos, not just the um, website photos, but actual customers put their photos. Um, I made sure to see if there was anyone who suited my body type who had bought it um to see what it would roughly look like and i made sure to only go buy those so I, any um outfit that i saw that didn't have any comments or photos i didn't pick from because that would honestly be a gamble if there's no ratings you have no idea what you could be given because as there are stuff that i sent back there were some letdowns and even with the photographic um comments um some of them still seemed really all right and then i ended up sending those back as well so go into the mindset when ordering from shen that it is going to be hit or miss that way you're not super disappointed because there are some really good gems like there are some that i absolutely adore here but others that i ordered were a complete bust so yeah, now moving on to all the ones that are in the dust bag, I'm going to start with this one. Um, so yeah, they were really good. On all the dust bags, it says exactly what the um, 
clothing item is and the size. I got all the correct sizes so there was no issue there. I got everything that I wanted, which was good. So this one did not come with tissue paper. So this is a very simple crop top and it has an upside down rose on it, which I think is so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, the rose is a patch, but I really like it. It just, it's, it's so cool. I want to use the word edgy, but I feel like that's probably not <laughs> the best way to sell a product by saying it looks edgy but I do absolutely really like it. The crop top is not super duper cropped where I would feel self-conscious. It was nice, it came to around here, you know. Um, it was, um, oh, by the way, everything barring one thing was size medium. I, I don't think I said that before, but um, for a medium it fit really nicely it wasn't super tight but it also wasn't loose the straps stay stay on um yeah it is just it's a really pretty crop top it's not see-through at all um it's just it's nice it's very very summery i'd say with crop tops definitely but of course you can always layer it if you put a long sleeve t-shirt underneath i think it would look good that way as well um, yeah, so again, really happy with this. No, no real complaints. It was really lovely. Although one thing that was really funny was my um, relatives gave it to me for my birthday, and they were very confused when they got it. They was like, "Is it, is it a mistake? Is it supposed to have the rose upside down?" And I was like, "It actually is. I, I think it looks a bit n trendier upside down. I feel like it looks a bit nicer that way." I don't know, that might just be me, but I, I really like like it. Um, to rate it, again, probably a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, next up is this top. So this top was a large. So the reason why I ordered a large is because in all of the reviews, they said size up um, to get the best fit. And we were very much hesitant. We was like, should we size up? Should we just stick with a medium? But we read through and basically every co comment was size up for the best fit. So we just said, all right, we'll size up. Um, and I'm so glad we did because it absolutely fit amazing. And I, I love this top. So this is a um, purple or lilac um, short sleeve crop top um, and it has this really cute butterfly design. I've seen this um, floating around a lot of places and it just looks so pretty. I definitely really wanted it for myself. Um, the butterfly, I think that's printed on. It's definitely not a patch. But I wouldn't say it's sewn on, um, but it is really nice. It's not see-through. It's not super thick. It's not really thin, but it's not super thick. It's just a normal, normal standard crop top but um, it looks really nice and definitely by sizing it up to the large it fit comfortably I didn't feel trapped in any way it just was very nice and yeah it just fits um, to the hip um, so yeah this is again another 10 out of 10 that I really really liked it All of um, the outfits, if they're still available on Shen, will be linked down below. So if you want to um, see them for yourself and or purchase them, they'll be there. I'll include the ones that I didn't like because you might see it and want to try it out yourself. I'm, I'm not one to stop anyone from doing that. So everything will be down below. Um, then we have this top. Everything I bought was top, so I don't know why I sounded surprised at that. Um, again, no tissue paper in this one. Um, so this um, looks really funny. I'm not quite sure if you can see. So there's a massive hole in the middle of the short sleeved black t-shirt. Um, what it looks like when you actually put it on, and you'll see in the video clip, 
from the TikTok is that it's just a little bit of a see-through um, from around this area. It doesn't show your bra at all unless you were to obviously pull it right down. It, it gives a really kind of suave look to it. Uh, I was very impressed that it didn't just show everything. I really was worried when ordering it that it would end up not fitting correctly on me but it fit just well. It's not extremely see-through either, but it is quite thin. If you feel it, it's quite a thin top. Um, definitely one you might want to layer up on um, or more wear a cardi with. Um, we did have, when it arrived, which my mum has now sewn, so I can't really show, but we had along here, um, a bit of fabric was just sticking out awkwardly when it got sent to us so my mum basically sewed it back down I can't remember whereabouts it was I think it's here because there's lots of extra yeah so this bit of fabric I really don't know if you'll be able to see it I can't zoom in but um, it was um, flapping out so my mum just sewed it back in so I was a bit disappointed in that but other than that, it is a really nice top. Um, so I don't know if it would come like that for every top ordered, if it was just a mistake on mine. Um, I didn't order multiples of anything, so I really couldn't tell you that. Um, but it is a very comfortable t-shirt and I did really like how it looked. Um, so I would give this an eight out of 10. It, it probably would have been a, a nine out of 10 if it had been sewn correctly when it got sent to me but um for the fact that it is quite a thin top lost of star there but i'm not one who's overly fussed about things like that um next up we have the big top this did come with tissue paper oh no correction not the big top this is the hoodie so this is a crop top hoodie top so it's not really thick enough where you would wear this as just a hoodie on its own. I mean, you can do. I, I do that more in summer when it's in winter and I wear it. I would definitely pair it with another jacket um, because you'll get quite cold or I'll layer up underneath. Um, but during the summer, it pairs as its own hoodie. So I saw, I've been seeing this around for ages and I definitely really wanted it. I thought it was so cool. So it's just this black um, short sleeved hoodie that says honey on it. So it's in bright red letters. Um, it has the drawstring for the hood. Um, and then the sleeves are sewn in. So when you look here, they are sewn in fishnet arms, which I really, really like. Um, I do like the fishnet arms, I think it it makes it look trendy but also it makes it a bit more of a long sleeve outfit i really like i prefer long sleeve to short sleeve so i like that i have i have a long sleeve while it's still being something that i can wear in summer because obviously it's all open so it's not incredibly warm to wear as well because the the fabric itself isn't extremely thick it is a nice cropped hoodie in that it sits um, by my hip. It's not incredibly cropped. It's super comfy. Um, if you want to lounge in it, you definitely can. Um, I really like it. Um, one thing to note though is that the um, they're kind of printed on the letters and if you're not careful, you could definitely scratch and remove it so far we've washed it um i think at least once definitely and the letters haven't peeled off so we're doing good in that sense but um it's not peeling off but when i go like that you can kind of almost scratch it off which it which is a bit worrying but i'm not one who, who sits here and just aggressively rubs um at the logo so i don't see it being an issue at least not for a while so um for this i'd give a 9 out of 10 because i do really love it but i worry about the words but i suppose even if the words do come off it's still a really nice black hoodie Okay, 
then next up again this one had tissue paper this um was something that i really wanted back in 2014 if anyone can remember 2013 2014 the era of the alien t-shirts the alien patch um i desperately wanted one of these and i never got one and I, I still think they're trendy. So when I saw it on the website, I was like, I definitely want it. So it's just your normal um, skater top, um, like baseball top with the black and gray um, short sleeve. It um, comes all the way down to the hip. So it's, it's not particularly a cropped top. Um, the alien head is a patch that's sewn on, but I think it's a really groovy patch. I really like it. And it's, it's simple, but a really nice top. It's not see-through. It's not overly thin, not overly thick. It's just a lovely new t-shirt. Um, it's super comfortable and really cute. I absolutely love it. Um, so this is a 10 out of 10 for me um, because I love the alien. And then the final top that I kept is kind of a dress shirt like a very long top um i've seen this around everywhere and i desperately wanted it so this is it so it is this long sleeved kind of black dress on me it is extremely long it's almost as if i'm wearing a dress um but that's because i am short i'm five foot three so depending on height may um see if it's just a sort of a longer shirt on you that is really um, you have to factor in your height with it. If you want it to be a dress, you might want to go for a bigger size. I don't know. I find that this is quite big. It is an oversized top, even though it is a medium. They, I feel like all of them fit oversized. Um, the top is very comfy. Um, it's not see-through. I um, mean, it's like a cotton, cotton shirt. And then the sleeves then are sewn with the checkerboard design. Um, the checkerboard design is, this is nylon material, so it's very stretchy, and when you stretch it, it becomes a bit see-through. Um, it's not a reversible print. The checkerboard is only on this side. These sleeves are very long on me. So when I have my arm in, and I don't know if that's just because I have really small arms, but the, mate the material does like droop quite a bit. Um, I might end up wonder webbing them to fit my size. I'm not 100% sure, but um, it is a bit off putting. It's very long. When I have my arms down, they kind of, they, they like this when I um, put it on. Um, although I do kind of like that look. I like the aspect of it being very long, but at the same time, I kind of wished that the sleeves would just be, you know, a, a tight fit but that's just my preference i think the style is deliberately supposed to be very wavy um but i also i also wish it wasn't nylon i did wish it was kind of cotton too but it's not awful i do really like it i think it's a very um aesthetic top it's um been trending for a while um i uh, my favorite part is definitely how oversized it is i do really like it and um, this did come with a belt. Um, it was not like a proper sturdy belt. It was kind of just a kind of seat belt belt um, with plastic buckle. Um, when you obviously put it through, it makes the dress very tight, um, figure hugging, but it was still comfortable. Um, I found it easy to adjust if you do want to use the um, buckle. Um, I personally probably would never use this again. I think I'm going to give it to my dad because he um, wants a buckle to secure his um, tool bag. Um, you know, all the screwdrivers and that. I don't really see this as a fashionable belt, but that's just me. I'm also not one for belts. I prefer it as a very loose fit rather than the tight fit. But um, in the TikTok clip, you'll see how it looks both ways. Um, if I was to pair it with a belt, I'd probably pick a different belt, maybe a more aesthetic one. I've seen ones with the checkerboard pattern on, so I might I might do that. Um, but 
I like that they showed it in the photos and then actually gave you the belt. They did follow through with that because um, most of the photos were of people who had the belt buckle around it, the same one. So I do like that they actually did send it so you wasn't just seeing pictures of people wearing it with a belt and then you have to find the belt yourself. But um, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the belt. But you might be. Um, it's not a terrible belt. It's just preference wise, not a huge fan of it. Also, this didn't come with tissue paper. I thought I did, but it, I thought it did, but it didn't. So yeah, um, I would give this a seven out of 10. The, the arms kind of are what ruin it for me in a way it's almost like i like it but i also don't like it so sometimes like one time i wore it and i really liked it and i really enjoyed the sleeves and then the second time i've worn it i've just gone um i wish the sleeves were tighter around me and the nylon honestly doesn't fuss me again with the um pattern in like not being inside that part doesn't really um annoy me it's more how it fits on my arm but the length, everything else is amazing. I do really like it. So then we move on to the negative items. So um, I shall put the TikTok in um, and then I've written my notes in a notebook about what I want to say about them. So first off, I'd like to say that um, I really did not like any of the bottoms that I bought. So the first thing that I'll talk about is a crop top, but then the other three things that I sent back were all co ord sets. So I got a top with bottoms and the bottoms were all skirts. The skirts were all terrible. They were all terrible. They were stretchy, not, not a good stretchy, they were a really soft cheap material um very see-through um for most of them and they just were not flattering they didn't make my legs look nice they made them look chubbier um there was a lot of risk of seeing underwear with it just from walking it was um very constricting as well on the thighs it was very stretched it was not comfortable at all so i did not like any of the bottoms that I got but um first of all we'll talk about the sunflower crop top so it fit very tight um it was very small on me so it literally looks the same size as my bra like that's where the um top started and that's where the top finished um and I don't particularly like crop tops that are are like that um, I'd like, I don't mind boob tubes, but even then when I get them, they're normally a, a bit lower. They cover a bit more of my stomach. I felt very exposed wearing it. I wasn't really comfortable with it. Um, I will give it credit though. The material wasn't see-through, um, but it did stretch the sunflower design. Um, the straps weren't really stretchy. Um, they fell down my arm quite a lot while I was walking around. Um, I did like the actual colour of the top, the light blue, and I did like the sun level design. I thought that was really nice. I just didn't really like the execution. I also didn't like, um, I'm not quite sure if you can see, but it was all ruffled right at the end. I really didn't like that. Um, so I, I know they do um, other tops I've seen now. Um, with the same sunflower design, so I might um, try and get a more um, more covering top or one of their hoodies with the design. I've seen it everywhere now. Sunflowers seem to be in for some odd reason. I don't know why, seeing as it's winter. But um, I may look into that. I don't know. But it wasn't an awful crop top just not one that I really vibed with um, so then we move on to the co-ords so obviously even if you like one part so you like the top but you don't like the bottom you have to return both but they do sell them both separately on the website so normally if you find a co-ord you can usually find both um, the top and the bottom in the top and the bottom section um, 
I just, I really wanted matching, like a set outfit. Um, Cause I'm all, I always get anxious about pairing things and whether they'll look right together. So I like the idea of knowing that that goes with that. I have a set outfit for if I've got to go out to somewhere important or if I know I've got an event coming up, I can just pick that. So that's what I wanted, but um, I just didn't get that. Um, the first card here um, is Sailor V3 and then it comes with a tartan skirt. This looks so lovely. There were thousands upon thousands of photos of people wearing it and it looked beautiful on all of them. It looked so lovely. I was so excited with it and that was probably my biggest letdown because when I got it, it was just not good. So starting with the top, the writing was peeling. Like the, C the Sailor V3 was the same as, as the Honey hoodie but worse it was already peeling upon me just picking it up there was little scratch marks in it um so it even worse than the honey like it was already scratching off so i feel like with one wash you'd probably be losing um some of the writing it was very cheap looking and feeling it was almost a scratchy material um it was very tight on it wasn't see-through which is one positive, but it was so tight. I felt really trapped wearing it, especially in my arms. Um, that was where I felt a lot of the pull. Um, it looked, when you pulled it, it looked very like a stretchy um, top, but um, it, it really wasn't, it was so tight. I don't know if maybe that was me stretching it, but everyone said that it was um, fits, um, fits true to size. No one said you needed to size up for it. So I, I don't think it was a sizing issue. Um, yeah, I just, I, I didn't like the look of it. The ruffles were, too much for me. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of ruffled t-shirts. Um, I, I also just didn't like the effect of it as an off the shoulder top. It just didn't really look nice on me. Um, moving on to the skirt. The skirt I thought looked really nice. I've um, started to like patterns more. I've, I've grown into liking tartan and check um, um patterned things i've gotten quite a few of those now i feel like i used to really hate them so i think it's kind of as i've grown up um that i've liked it so i thought especially with the top i really saw that as looking really nice but um the skirt was um it was stretchy and not in a good way it really didn't look nice um it it made my tummy stick out um there wasn't a zip on it so it was a pull up um so it was almost a bit stretchy so it it didn't really fit around my hips but then around my thighs it fit it was it was just really awful it wasn't mm. flattering and it didn't feel nice either it felt like the really like you know the softness of something that's really cheap i really don't know how to describe it but it really just didn't feel nice at all to put on um then we have this next card which is um the black off the shoulder and the black and white checkered skirt so the top was the same feeling as the um paris top um when it actually arrived it was covered in like a grayish black dust um it was all covered on the top I was really not impressed with that um I couldn't really tell you what it was it was wasn't really slimy but it, it it had a weird texture I didn't like it we had to brush it all away and I felt like some of it still stayed on the top afterwards um but it, it was one of those it feels cheap it looks cheap um it it was very stretched on the shoulders um but tight around this area 
um, which was not comfortable to wear at all. I did not like that. Um, it, it was it was one of those cases where you pay a little bit more money to have the co-ward and the top itself was at that price where you could probably go to Primark and buy yourself a better version of it for cheaper and it be better quality than the top that I received. So it, it was really a no brainer. I wasn't, wasn't happy with it at all. Um, the skirt was um, the same again. It was a pull up um, stretchy material. It had a split down the leg um, where it was supposed to look a bit suave. You know, you see loads of models on the runway with it, um, but it it was kind of restricting. I felt like it was also moving around. And if I wasn't careful, you'd end up seeing an underwear line. I just didn't feel like it was put in the right place. I didn't, didn't like it. Um, and then moving on to the final co-ord. So I actually really liked the top. Um, there was only one real problem with the top and that if, if you can see that it, when you hold it up, it really didn't look see-through, but when you put it on, it was absolutely so see-through. Um, and it was a complete accident that I ended up trying it on with a black bra. I didn't intend for that. So you you know normally when you wear a white top and you've got a, a dark colour bra underneath, you can tell almost there's a little hint that you're wearing something darker, but this is the extent where you could make out the whole bra. That's that's when you know it's, it's a really see-through top. Um, and I personally don't like really see-through tops. Um, but if you are into see-through tops, if that's something that you like, um, then the top itself was actually really nice. I really liked um, the cherry pattern. It was a patch, um, but it was nice. It just, it looked really nice actually. And it was comfortable to wear. Um, it was stretchy, but a good stretchy. I felt really comfortable. I didn't feel restricted in my movement. It was a good length. There was really no other issue with it apart from the fact that it was so see-through. I think it, if it had not been see-through, I would have definitely gone back and just purchased the top because the skirt was the worst part. It, it was terrible. And I'd like to bear in mind that I'm not just ordering a medium to bash the skirts when in reality, you know, I wear a large. It's not that case at all. Everywhere I go, I'm always in medium for bottoms. Sometimes in Primark, I'll even go down to a small because Primark sizes are inconsistent, but that that's not really important here. On the website, they label medium as some of them will be 10 to 12 and others will be, you know, 12, um, 10 to 14, like 12 to 14. Um, around that, which is what I fit. I've always fit that size. I'm, or I'm, I've been a consistent medium when it comes to bottoms for years now. So I trust when I pick a medium, it'll fit. But all of these skirts just didn't fit medium. And I don't think they would have fit as a large either. I really just don't think they were good quality at all. I wouldn't try them in large, I just, I didn't like it. With this skirt, it looked like a school skirt and it was the same kind of feeling. It was such a thin material, almost like a tablecloth. Um, it was so see-through, had cuts for the pleated effect um, and the side leg, but that was super risky. I nearly flashed my underwear so many times, trying like walking around with it. Um, it was super unflattering. And this one came with a zip. I thought it'd be a bit better with a zip, but no. The zip, it, even without trying it on, the zip already was getting stuck when I was testing it. And then when I actually put it on, it got stuck a, like three quarters of the way up. So there was just like a hole. And you can see it in the TikTok that it just would not zip up anymore. It was stuck. It, it was awful. I hated it. I couldn't wait to take it off. It was a no-go. I didn't like it at all. Um, so 
to to wrap up um to give my final thoughts of shen i think shen is okay i quite like it i have received quite a few bits that i liked you know seven out of eleven is over half so um that that's quite a good statistic really of positive to negative um i i definitely would order from them again um but i would still go into it with the mind frame of trial and error you know i find that they are inconsistent a lot of their items are hits and then a lot of them can be misses i know my sister has got quite a few bits that have been awful and so many bits that have been nice i feel like you've really just got to do your research with it look at people's reviews look at their comments definitely um most of them fit true to size um if they don't people will leave plenty of reviews to let you know if you've got size up or size down um definitely with a purple top everyone said size up and sizing up was definitely the best thing to do um i feel like the medium would have been very tight on me whereas the large was super comfortable um so definitely listen to the reviews do that research before you just think to buy and unless you're not phased by that like especially they have so many new things that go up um with no reviews um no ratings they'll just have new listing and if you you're really ambitious and you want to try that then that is a real big gamble though i definitely feel like you could end up with anything it's an unknown um, which is a shame that's probably the biggest letdown is that it's still inconsistent but i definitely don't think it's a scam um i definitely um the returns policy was really great we sent off what we didn't want got the money back really quickly it was an easy process um and a lot of the goods were really great so it's not like you just got sent absolute worthless items um so yeah i wouldn't label it a scam um just just inconsistent really and i feel like that's because they might be made in different places so some places might be really on it have good materials and then other places not the same um i do think that's what it comes down to um yeah um other than that honestly um i'd be very wary to try the bottoms again i feel like um i would rather not buy bottoms from there but their tops and their dress was really good so i definitely look into purchasing them again i also found out that they do homeware um so i'm very interested about that um they do phone cases and then the stuff to put in the room um so those sound interesting so i definitely see myself ordering again but i think the best way to order is to have that mindset of you could be getting sent some worthless things and you may be saying being sent some good things um don't just assume all of them are going to be bad and don't assume all of them are going to be good because i feel like you you won't like the result if you have those kinds of mindsets going into ordering from them but they were really speedy um the prices are very affordable um they do student discount and they always have deals on so you you'll be able to get money off on top of the already good prices that they have um so that's not a real issue um you could probably end up buying loads of clothes there for the same prices maybe only a couple from the higher end shops and i feel like that you you do have to be careful though because they are with cheap prices you can get cheap quality you know thin material but they still can look good and um you can like them so tri trial and error is really all i can say but honestly i i would give shen a 7 out of 10 i i think they're decent um i don't think they normally would make errors with the um order confirmation and buying things i feel like that was a, a very rare instance for people um I don't know about um if they have any mistakes with um sewing i i wouldn't know i've not really seen that as a complaint anywhere 
Um, yeah, but overall, I did have a positive experience and I would recommend Shen so long as you listen to the advice that I give, gave. Um, and that's all I really have to say. Once again, obviously, all of these opinions are my own. I am not sponsored nor endorsed by Shen. I probably won't be. Um, so yeah, until next time, remember to slay the day. Bye my sassy little pixies.